Hi, this is a lecture on shared VPC. What is a shared VPC? A shared VPC allows an organization to connect resources from multiple projects to a common centralized virtual private cloud network or a centralized VPC. So it has two major components, the host project and the service project. The host project contains the VPC, the shared VPC network. And the host project can have admins who can either delegate the work of network administration to themselves or to a separate network admin. The second component is the service project. The service project is basically the project which gets attached to the shared VPC network. So let us look at this diagrammatically. So I have a GCP account which contains three distinct projects, the host project, and two separate service projects. Let's imagine one of them is the admin and the other one is the finance project. So I want to create virtual machines within these service projects which have IP addresses which are linked to the host project. So basically these virtual machines should be associated with the virtual private cloud or the, share of the VPC within the host project. So I will create a master VPC which is a shared VPC and within that I will create two subnets. And after I've done that, I will associate the service projects with the master VPC and I will create two virtual machines. So these virtual machines will have private IP addresses that are actually linked to the subnet IP of the shared VPC. So let's look at a demo on how this is done. So if I go to my GCP console, I've created three distinct projects, the host project, service project one and service project two. So what I'll do now is I will go to my host project. So the host project has got a VPC that I've just recently created called the master VPC with two distinct subnets, subnet one and subnet two. And it has the IP range as mentioned in the diagram 192.168.00 and 192.168.10. So what I'll do now is I will share these two subnets or the share the, this particular VPC with the other projects, the service project one and the service project two. So to do that, I'll click on shared VPC. And after that, I have either the option of selecting all the subnets or individual, individually selecting the subnets. So what I'll do is I'll select all the subnets here by ticking that checkbox. And the second thing I need to do is I need to attach the projects. So I go to the attach projects tab. And what I'll do is I will select the other two projects that I have, the service project one and the service project two. And that's about it. I'll just click on save. So once I have created my shared VPC, what I will do now is I will go to any one of the service projects and I will create a virtual machine and let's see what happens. So I go to my service project one, I go to my compute engine and let me try to create a virtual machine. So I already have two virtual machines, let me create one more and this virtual machine should be linked to the VPC of the host project. So click on create instance. I'll put everything as default. So what I need to change is I need to go to the networking tab. Click on this. And I'll click on the network shared with me. So as this is part of the Asia East one, so I'll just change the region here. So so after I've done that, I can see that this is now enabled. So I'll just click on create. Let me just change the instance type to
I'll click on create. Now you can see that the instance 3 has been created and the network that is attached to it that is associated with it is basically the master VPC and the master VPC is has the IP range of 192.168.0024 and that is basically what this IP address is associated with. That's about it. If you have any doubts, you can just ping me or get in touch.